Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. And today it's time for my art stacks. It's actually my last work for art stacks today. So it's a bit, you know, special kind of. But of course, I'm going to use their stuff um, a lot of times in my works in the future at, at, as well. But uh, this is my time, last time doing a project for them. So thank you, Heather, for the opportunity and for, yeah, it, it have taught me a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm going to return to the project at hand. I'm using the images from the Lorraine Height Moraine artist series core stack here. And I'm using it together with the doors and windows stack. Um, I love to mix the different kits together. Uh, that's just <laughs> what I like. So I'm using, you know, the windows for putting some of the people behind the window and not just the people. I'm using some of the kitty cats, <laughs> the cats also. And then I'm just, as you see here, put the transparent window on top. I really love those windows. I love windows in general. <laughs> I don't know why. So here I have them, four of them, two larger ones and two smaller ones. And I'm just gluing them in kind of random. It's not perfect in any way, but I don't mind that. And I want to make some kind of a brick wall um, for the exterior of the house, so to speak. So I'm using my stencil from Panduro, my workplace. It's an old one, so I don't think you can, can have it anymore. But it's a really helpful uh, stencil to have with bricks. I like that. So I'm using it with modeling paste. And I'm trying to, it's really messy, so I'm trying to protect the windows a bit from my, yeah, from the chaos, which is me. <laughs> and the stencil is kind of a bit ruined because I haven't cleaned it thoroughly, so it's thicker all the time. <laughs> so that's just me. But I have a spare, actually. I have a fresh new one, uh, but I don't want to use it yet. So here you see, it's not perfect, but I dry it with my, my drying warm heat gun, of course, before I add water with a spray bottle. And then I'm going to use some paint from Dilution, spray paint. It's desert sand and it's Calypso teal. I love those colors. So I'm just adding them randomly. I'm, just, I'm not spraying because spraying will create a lot of splashes around but I'm adding it and then like you see here I'm spraying water on top and just let it drip around um, yeah freely kind of I, I like that and of course I dry it with my heat gun again and then I'm using my uh, Derwent ink tense pen color bark for some shading around the windows and of course, as usual, I'm going to dilute it with my water brush a bit for smoother transitions. Like that. I really love those windows. Look at them. <laughs> and I'm also going to use the pencil for, um, you know, uh, around the corners like you see here just a darker edge around the edges because it kind of frames the spread in a bit I believe and I'm going to have some wordings and they are also from the Lorraine Height Moraine uh, Artist uh, Series core stack and they are kind of funny words kind of cheeky words so it doesn't really match with the windows maybe, but I really like those words. If I were told to pick one word to describe myself, I'd go with doesn't follow directions. And <laughs> uh, of course I do sometimes or oftentimes, but I feel kind of uh, rebellious today. So I want to use those, that quote or that, those wordings. 
Uh, so I'm just, you know, distressing the edges a bit. And then I'm just adding it. And I love those cheeky quotes. They are really fun. <laughs> So that's about it. It's done. And I hope you enjoyed because I really did enjoy. I perhaps forgot to mention that I also stamped some text stamps on the spread as you see here. Some tiny words, scribblings. Uh, they're always decorative. But this is it. And visit Artstacks if you want to purchase some of the papers. You can also download a lot of them. So go ahead and do just that. And thank you for watching and stay safe. Bye.